Hey everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. How is my crafting family? Thank you to all of you that helped me get up to 900 subs. I just got a letter. And please share the videos. Let it get up to a thousand subs because I have a huge giveaway for that. Anyways, I have a nice little crafty haul, but this one, somebody contacted me and wanted me to do another video for them. Timu contacted me again and we're just going to get started because there's a lot of crafty stuff in here besides a couple of other things that I wanted to get. Okay, so want to go with the fun stuff first or the boring stuff first? I'm going to do, I don't know. Let's do this. What is this? This, my dears, is an earwax kit. So I have a grandchild that has earwax problems and he was over here and we were trying to do earwax removal in his ear with oil and hydrogen peroxide and it works but we just didn't have the tools so this is I think it was a dollar 69 for this somewhere around there just remember that if you order something like this that the prices fluctuate so I got this there's like three little spoons in here and then a little spring and then something else and something else so these are used in the doctor's office which they told my daughter they will not do earwax removal anymore which I don't understand that because they used to do it for my daughter because she had to wear hearing aids and the molds would stop the earwax from coming out and the earwax would build up from the mold, the ear mold. So that is what I got with this. I'm really happy to have gotten that. I might get a second set. Then I got, okay, come on, I don't just want to dig around. I saw this on somebody else's haul, and I forgot who it was. I would mention her, but I really, really do like this. It is a manicure kit, and I like the rose gold one. So it has some tweezers, cuticle movers and removers, um, cuticle movers, yeah, a, a file, and... I think these are really weird looking. So look at that. I think this is toenail clippers. Look how they're look how they're angled. So that's cool. And this was just about I think two dollars. So and they they feel real good. Let me see. And they clip really well. Nice. And then you have that was glue. Then you have uh, some of those nails, nail scissors, and then another pair of clippers. So what I want to do eventually is, um, because this is a collab. Um, I eventually want to order each family member one of these so they have their own so they can stop using my stuff. And it's a nice little case. Really cute. That's real nice. And it's a light, light peachy pink. Really pretty. So then I got this. It's called a Forever Pen. And I have... Oh, look. So there is a pen clip. So... These were like 69 cents on the site. So if I, if they work well, I'm going to see. Okay. I have stuff here written there. So if this, oh yeah, it's smooth. Just do my name real quick. It feels like a pencil. That's very nice. Very, very nice. So. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip that so I could use it if I need it. 
So I got the pink one. It has many other colors. What does that look? That looks like a, an eraser right there. I got the pink one and it has many other colors. What is that? Oh, okay. That's got to keep it moist or something. That feels like an eraser. Which I think that's an eraser. Okay, so you get an eraser in there and you get your pen in here. So where does the eraser go, guys? Let me see. Does this erase it? Yep, it sure does. Look at that. It erases it. Oh, nice. So how do we... <sighs> I'm going to have to fiddle with it. That's cool. I never had anything like that. I like that. That's cool. Okay. And it does erase well. Yep, we're getting... um. See that? Okay, let's just get going. All right. I also bought... I didn't buy it. ordered it because they wanted to give me some items to show you. So I'm showing you. I got a tape measure. Sometimes I look for a tape measure. And I can't find it. So this one is in inches. See how it clicks? And I think... Ooh, it whips right back. Woo, do you see that? We'll do it again. Whee! <laughs> and this one is in centimeters. So this one is 150 centimeters, it says. And this side is 60 inches. Let's do that again. Oh, that is so cool. I got the pink one. This one would be worth it if you are um, a paper crafter. And you just want to measure something, it stays there for you, and then you can just whip it right back. Or if you're a sewer, okay? You know, even a journal or a journal maker. So that is that. Now, sorry about the noise, guys. Really, really am. I got this thing. It's a silicone mat. It's called a silicone kneading mat. And this was only maybe a dollar sixty-nine. I have to put these bags somewhere. Sorry. Okay, about the thing. So we're gonna roll this out. So what my original thought was when I bring out my glue gun. I've got nothing to stand it on. This is a very small mat to me. I think I got the small one. But it is perfect to put your glue gun on. And you know that the hot glue does not stay on the silicone. Or when you are gluing, like, I am really screwing up this mat badly. When you're gluing... You can glue on this mat, okay, and the glue will come up off of it. I have to scrape to get the glue off this mat. So that's why I got that. And I'm so glad to have gotten that. I'm going to put that way, way over here. I am going to roll it back up because I got kitties in here and there's a bunch of kitty hair. So it's going to go like that. Yeah, right. It doesn't want to. <laughs> okay, then I ordered some. We're going to get to the good, good, good stuff in a minute. I ordered some paper clips. Now, I've seen these, and this was for a set of one. They're pretty big. I like them. And I want to use them with my journals. Two, three, four. Five, six. All right, so there's a set of six here. Now, I have more than six journals set and ready to go. But the future journals, I want to put these in with the pen that goes in here. So you can always, I'm going to take my pencil, put this on the edge you know, mm -mm -mm. 
say your sheet is right here, you can always slip your pencil or pen in here and it will hold it like that. And I thought that was a pretty nice idea. So it will go on the edge of a page like this and you can carry around your pen with your journal or your Bible, whatever you're doing, your Bible notebook, whatever you're doing, guys. But I make journals and that's what I bought these for. And I'm going to get, well, I already have a set of pens to give out with that. I just didn't know. I didn't know that there were paper clips like that. And when I did find them on Amazon, they were way expensive. So got those. Then guys, one more, one more kitcheny thing. So I really, really do like this. I use this every night. And these are, hold on, I'll get it out of it. These are the large and small. It's called Family Fast. Ooh. And it is a nice little container for your lunch or whatever you want. These, I do use them for my food. I'm not sure if they're BPA safe, but. I store them for like my leftovers that we will have for lunch the next day because I hate wasting food, don't you? So these are a pretty nice size. Um, I forgot what they said, but this one seems to be, this one may be a quarter, this one may be a half a quarter or something, but large and small set. This comes in a set, maybe for a dollar ninety nine. Pretty nice. So I'm going to leave them like that so that you can see like this, what I've got there. All right. Now we're going to get going. I've got so much stuff. Um, I've got three sets of paper for junk journaling. And so this one is kind of a Victorian one with some beautiful papers. Oh, come on. You were, it was uh, focusing the other time that I did a video, but it doesn't want to do it now. So I think there's 50 right here. Piano Forte, and I'm always looking for music sheets. Um, this one is Jerry K. K Jacobs, Carrie Jacobs. And Banquet to Do Noble. But look at what you get. The Standard Bearer, Quad Drills. So I'll just do it this way. And these are pretty large pieces of paper. Let me bring it over so you can see it. And then your last piece of paper is a cardboard and this will be nice. It's already a collage, but it would be nice as maybe a huge journaling card and you can cover the back of that or use the other pieces in the back. So that is this one. I think there's 50 sheets in each. Um, I don't know. But when I ordered these, these were $2.99 a piece. So these are recipe ones. Ice drinks, bridge party sandwiches, frozen. So I do every single year, maybe once or twice, I make recipe junk journals. And I cut up old recipe books. And now I've got some recipes that I could just glue in there. And look at that back page. 
So these are very nice, guys. Very, very nice. That's why I got that one. Yeah, I think there's 50 sheets in this each. It doesn't say. Wait a minute. Two, four, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So 30. 30 pages each. Times two. Um, 60. 60 pieces. This very, it is thinner paper, which is good for when you are junk journaling. That way you can take and just make this into a nice thinner card that you would need for journaling or, you know, just decorate your pages with it. Like, see that lady right there? Just cut her out, fussy cutter. And these are old ads. That's what that is. So that's cool. And there you go. I have a bunch of ads that I cut out from old, old, old magazines that I just never used. I got to use them. This one was, I don't understand. The, these were $2.99 each, but this was, I think, for some. But anyways, this comes in its own vellum envelope, which you can trace anything, guys. You understand? No, it does. Oh, boy. So, that didn't want to work, did it? All right. You can wrap your own stuff up like this, too. Look, isn't that cool? So, that's a piece of vellum that you can use. And I like the packaging. Very nice. Very nicely done. So there's more in there. I'm just going to show you these pieces. You can always use these anywhere in your drunk journals or on your journaling cards. You can even make a card with them. But these are journaling spots right here so that you could place them in on one side of the sheet or the other. I don't know. I don't know if I could just write little tiny things there. I would use them probably for pictures, to, to place pictures on. Right here is bigger. What is that upside down? So yeah, these are all journaling spots. That looks to be to lay a picture in. And here's some teacups and stuff like that. And here's a little, here's a little journaling card with lined paper in it. Yeah, so pretty nice, huh? And another journaling spot. This one's coffee-based, and that's why I got it, because I did make coffee junk journals before, and I want to make them again. Uh, but i got to find a way to get my images, because now my printer says it's out of ink, and I really didn't use it that much. So look at this. Chocolate drinks. Isn't that cool? Then you have a placemat, which somebody could use for that. Then you have a coffee grinder. I don't necessarily have to use the the old time ladies in there, right? The vintage pictures of the ads for the coffee that the beautiful ladies were in. Here's a nice placemat. Upside down cake. Another upside down. Look at that. That's an ad for coffee. And so forth. You might want to go in these into Timu. They are called, I think, um, I wrote in uh, junk journal paper. And then I wrote in scrapbooking paper. And these come up. Um, this one was different. They gave me a link to go to. And these were in my recommended link. So I got them. Because, hey... All you crafters out there, you're looking for some good stuff. And it's right here. Right here. Nice, much thinner paper. And I'm going quickly because we don't have... I don't want to use a lot of time on this. We're at 20 minutes already and we still got a little bit to go. But thank you so much, Temu, for picking me to collaborate with you and allowing me to show all of these people what they can get. 
And here's some tags in here. Okay. Pretty cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And here's some more. That looks like a receipt. And more. I think that's, uh, yeah, a ticket for a receipt. And there are tags. So that's cute. And then you have this and this and this. And then inside you have... Um, I believe these are stickers, but I have a hard time peeling them. But they are... Come on, will you focus? They are um, really pretty. And they could be put over something, you know... They could frame, like, one of your stickers here. Ah. This is a coffee grinder. There's three of them there. I'm just trying to go quick, guys, for you. And this is a bunch of vellum stickers. Coffee beans with vanilla flowers. and Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Look at the... Oh, you get a whole mess of little stickers with the coffee, coffee cups. Oh, yeah, coffee-looking drinks. Really pretty. See that? I I really, really, oh, my goodness. And I don't even know how many pieces are in here. It's pretty, it's a lot. And this one was, like, I believe $4.99 for this one. So you're getting a lot. You're getting a whole lot for this. So I believe this is a junk journal embellishing kit, but it comes under a different name, scrapbooking, scrapbooking paper, uh, also material paper. So you might want to remember that one. This one is, I thought this was going to come in a three by three. Uh, it didn't. I think it came in a three by one and um, these are tabs. These are vellum tabs. I'm not going to take them out. I might use them. I'm not sure. Um, I think they're sticky notes. I'm not taking them out. So um, that would be like too much. I also went and ordered these little hearts because I do use my little conversation hearts from Hobby Lobby. And I didn't see them this year for Valentine. They're little wooden conversation hearts. I really, really did like them. And so I ordered these. They all have love on them. And that's okay because I right now am working on a card that I could use these for. It is a vintage card. And there's, I think they said 100 pieces. Yeah, 100 pieces in here. So, hey, that'll be cute on the card. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. So we have that little conversation hearts. Then, guys, I have a couple more things I can whip out and show you. Okay. There's more over here. I did get another die. I cannot go without getting a die. This one I will try out with the other ones I just got in. And it will be reviewed. So that is that. I'm waiting to do a video on more dies that will be coming in in the future. This is Fairy Flower Fairy Diaries box of stickers. It's a little squashed. Um, but I know this pulls out like this. I I didn't order the fairy ones, but I guess. So you get 45 pieces and you get these cute little fairies, which I'm not really into fairy. Here's a strawberry fairy, though. Could have used that for my junk journals that I just made, strawberry ones. So I think you get three of each. Because that's what it looks like here. Three of each. And you get so many different ones. Plus you get some flowers in the pack. Which is cool. Very, very cool. And 
I'm just going to spread them. Here's some butterflies. I don't know if you can see that. Here's a butterfly. How pretty. Yep, so you get a lot of these 45 pieces. Holy cow, they're slipping everywhere. So I'm going to put them away. Then you have these. These are musical notes, which I, I, got, I like musical notes. I've always been partial to music. My son writes music, so... Um, I took voice class in high school. I also took songwriting class and all of that. So here you go. Here's your musical notes. You get them in various different colors. You have yellow, gold, green, pink, and a lighter gold. And there's a couple purple and black. So those are adorable. And when I do a chunk journal that is music again then I will use those then I have this set of stickers I thought they were going to be bigger but I think these are not stickers they're just vellum pieces of paper and I think there's 50 pieces in here so there you go I like using these images for the junk journals. I will just back them up in white and use them that way because they will be brighter when you back them in white. So, and there's a couple of like, look, see like the 50s types of people, the vintage. Here's, isn't that cute? I really like these, and I am looking for vi vintage images like that. So, uh, that's that. Okay, then I got a bigger set of stickers. There's 12 sheets in here. And it was very, very cheap for this. I think a dollar something. Um... These are flat stickers, which I will be using. And they come in different colors. So this one is purple. Then you have pink. Then you have green. And then you have uh, gold. So one I'm going to take out and the others I'm going to leave in there, okay? They're gorgeous. They're holographic. And they are gold leafed. So one I'm going to take out, I think you get three in each. Yes, you do. So you get different things in here. You get three in each. And that does not look good. I need to get you a white piece of paper. So here is what they look like. Aren't they gorgeous? Plus this one. So this comes in a pack of 12 sheets. You have so many stickers on these. I mean, you just get so much and i am so grateful for this opportunity to do this and just have these so i could make some more beautiful stuff these can go for cards or whatever you're doing this is and i told myself i would not get any more stamps but this is silicone stamps and these were gorgeous gorgeous and they are a big size look at my palm of my hand Okay, so this would make a nice fall card. I don't want to open them. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All for a dollar, I think thirty-nine at this point was. I just think those are gorgeous and I did get them. Hey, they want me to collab. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the review of these stamps with the dies in my review haul in my review video i'm trying to talk right but anyways i do have more and i don't know where, oh here it is i got this set this is a ticket set with an envelope so this is a coin envelope but it's a big coin envelope and if you don't want to use it uh, the only one you get 
So if you don't want to use this one, you can just break this down, open it up, and trace it and make more out of your craft paper or out of your uh, printed paper packs that you get from Hobby Lobby that are real thin paper because this is thin paper and it is pretty big. So what I'm going to take out of here, I'm going to slip into here. I'm just going to show you, this is a scrapbook kit, sort of, and yes, yeah, scrapbooking kit material paper, um, does not say how many pieces, guys, and I can't just go through here and just you know, so you get these pieces of paper, one, two, and this one seems to be a sticker. It seems weird. So I think you cut the pieces of, yes, it does unpeel. So you can cut these. This is traveling, I think. I didn't want the traveling one, but oh well. I like postcards. And then here's the the world. It's upside down to you. And then a train. A trolley. Yep. So those can go inside here. For you to make your own scrapbook with. And then you get so many pieces of labels. These are stickers, I believe, vellum stickers. They feel like vellum or plastic-like. And then you get some tags and some more tags and some more tags and some stamps. You can cut these stamps apart. Some of them are stickers. Here is some coffee cups. Uh, waitress check and you got all these stickers and and tags and tickets so there here's a postcard these are two these are tiny there's a backwards love Here's a ticket, and then you get, those are coffee beans, that's weird, um, a little van, telephone, telefono, and then you get smaller pieces of paper, yep, here's another sticker, um, another smaller piece of paper, these you can collage with. Ooh, guys, you get a lot in this. So, and here's the other piece that you can cut apart. It looks to be a sticker sheet. Here's another little tiny sticker. So all of these come in this little kit. And, oh my goodness, what am I going to do here? I'm just going to try to slip everything in here without making a huge mess because we need to get going. So that is this one. That is adorable. Then I have these two. I think they're six by six. 13 millimeter by 130 millimeter by 100. I don't know what that is. I've gotten this one before from AliExpress. I really do like this one. It's vellum and other pieces of paper. Um, it's a scrapbooking paper. I haven't been able to use those because I'm so afraid to use them because I didn't think I would get any more. So these are vellum with gold leafing. And then you have that. These are very pretty. And then you have these pieces that are, they seem to be plasticky. 
they're all the same when you go through them and then you have the back that are paper so that is this one and then here is this one this one is and I'm gonna flip through this one real quick for you and then we're done we can pray and get on our way I will have links below for you to have 30% off your first order for Temu. I have all of that because I was asked to do this and I don't mind. When you're asked to do this, when you have a YouTube channel and a Rumble channel, then it's lovely to do for this. It's just so cool. I, and then they just give you free products when you collab. So it's nice. Look at that Marilyn Monroe right there. So, yep, she was gorgeous. So there is the whole Tamil collaboration haul. Hope you like it. This is stuff that could be available to you. Just go on the website, search it out. Um, I gave you kind of like words for them um let's get to our prayer thank you lord jesus for everything you have done for us thank you for allowing me to, to share with other people items reviews crafting giveaways love you god prayers thank you there has been an abundance of things that I am able to share on this channel, and I thank you so much. You come first, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that you forgave us of our sins. And we recognize that, and we ask you to come into our hearts and stay there. That we may follow you in your footsteps, follow your words, and follow your teachings. Fill us with the Holy Spirit that we might go out there and do what you ask us to do and minister to others and help others be saved. Father, we ask you first to prepare their hearts and water the seeds. Make sure they are mature enough for us to speak to them. Make them inquisitive about the Lord that we may speak about you. Thank you, Lord. When we speak out, it is you that is dwelling within them, like digging a hole deep enough into their heart to be planted deep and rooted deep. Father, for we need this because times are getting perilous and we need as many as we can get saved. They need it. We need it. You want it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen, guys. Okay, one more look. Now, don't forget, down below will be the links to go to the Timu. Uh, you'll find all the links. I think he wrote me, and I have links to these items. Um, I'm going to try and copy and paste that once this is up. And then I have a link for uh, just the, you know, um, the discount. So <laughs> I really love having you in my crafty family. Help me get to a thousand and God bless each and every one of you and keep creating with love now. Bye.